five bells. Stand by all stations. Attention, all districts. A five alarm fire. Five bells moving immediately. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Firefighters. <laughs> Presenting Firefighters, the true-to-life story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the Demon of Fire. In just a minute, we'll join Jimmy and Trudy Collins in the old Wilcox mansion where they've gone to collect some articles for the Firefighters Brigade antique sale. It is growing dark in the eerie old house, and Trudy's courage is fast disappearing. Reminded of the rumor that the old place is haunted and frightened by the strange old Mrs. Wilcox, she wants to flee for home. But Jimmy, who's a little braver, is trying to get her to stay. Now, before we join them in the musty old living room of the mansion, here's something you ought to hear. Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to the old Wilcox mansion where Jimmy and Trudy have gone to ask old Mrs. Wilcox for some articles for the firefighter sale. Standing alone in the shadowy old living room with Mrs. Wilcox up in the attic, Trudy, for one, is ready to give up the whole project, especially when she remembers the frightening stories about the old house. But, but what if it really is haunted, Jimmy? Oh, there, there's no such thing as haunted houses, I think. Well, what about the stories they tell? About folks hearing screams late at night and, and seeing things running across the yard. Well, it, it's just an imagination, I hope. Oh, gee, Mrs. Wilcox has taken an awful long time up in the attic. Yeah. I wish she'd come down. Me too. I don't want... Oh. What's that? Why, uh, why, that's nothing. It, it's only an old clock. See? Well, there it is in the corner. Oh, no. Now, take it easy. There, there's nothing to be afraid of. No? Why are you looking so funny? Funny? Who's looking funny? I'm just watching to see if Mrs. Wilcox is coming down the stairs. It's been so long, and it's getting dark. Mom will be worried. I want to go home. Oh, oh. Jimmy! Hey, it's Mrs. Wilcox. Jimmy! Trudy! Come up to the attic. I have something for you. She, she wants us to go up to the attic with her. I don't want to. I... Yes, yes, Mrs. Wilcox, we're still here. Come on, Trudy, we'd better go up. Look, why don't you go? I'll stay here. Well, all right, somebody's got to go. I'm coming, Mrs. Wilcox. Stay right here now, Trudy. Oh, Jimmy. Well, what's the matter now? I forgot. When you go, I'll be here alone. I'll come with you. Oh, gee, make up your mind. Come on now, follow me up the stairs. Oh, oh where are you, Mrs. Wilcox? Way up on the third floor. Saving electricity, probably. She's very economical, I guess. Now, that's it. Now, right up this way. Be careful of those last stairs. They're very narrow. Oh, gee, it's quite a climb, and it's so dark. Couldn't you maybe turn on a light, Mrs. Wilcox? Oh, no electricity up this part of the house. That's why I use this oil lamp. Now, that's it. Now, turn, turn the landing, and you're up. Here is an awful big house. What a big attic. Yes, been the storeroom for our family for over a hundred years. Boxes and trunks and furniture, all the cast-offs of folks that have been dead for more years than I can remember. Sure is a lot of stuff here, all right. Uh, I'm afraid I must apologize for the dust and the cobwebs. I haven't been up here in ten years, it must be. Now, come, we'll see what we can find for this. <coughs> What's the matter? Duck it in my nose. Yes? Well, cover your nose with a handkerchief. That'll fix it. I must have the place cleaned out one of these days. It would probably be a good idea. Looks like quite a fire hazard the way it is. What the hell? Fire, I have... you say? I've lived in this house for 78 years and there's never been a fire. What do you mean, talking about fires? I only said that with an attic full of old stuff and 
With all this dust and dirt around, it would be an easy place for fire to start. You stop talking about fires, young man. I detest fires. Never had one in this house. And there's not going to be any, as long as I'm careful. That's one thing I always am. I'm careful. Now, I'll just set this lamp down by the closet and away from everything. Now, we'll look for something for the sale. Oh! What's that? Hey, Trody, what's the matter? Something black came at me and... Something black? Nothing, child. <laughs> Just a bat. Oh, he's harmless. He is? Oh, I, I, I don't think I like that. Well, never mind. He's gone back to his nest under the eaves. Oh. It's all right, Trudy. He's gone. Now, let me look into this closet. Oh, my, my, the memories these old things bring back. My little silk parasol. <laughs> I'll just shake it out and look at it. <laughs> dust. Dust over everything. Oh, I remember the day I first got this console. It was spring. I was just your age. Mama bought it for me at the big store on the square, and we took a long walk. Long While long. Mrs. Wilcox holds the children yeah. spellbound oh, in the old attic with her memories, that grows later and later... Mrs. Collins begins to be uneasy about the absence of the children. She finally phones the Wilcox mansion. Well, when Mrs. Collins gets no answer, she becomes alarmed. There's no way of knowing that Mrs. Wilcox, Jimmy, and Trudy are up in the attic where they can't hear the phone. Really worried, she calls Tim, who is on night duty at the rescue service station, where Chief Cody has just dropped in for a chat with the rookie fire. Well, Hooksy... Still as keen about fire rescue as ever? Oh, you bet, Chief. There's a thrill a day in this suit. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Chief. Yes, sir. Fire rescue? Yes? Oh, oh, hello, Mom. What's up? Yes, am Yeah, well, how long ago? Oh, well, I wouldn't worry yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see. Yeah, okay, sure. Sure, Mom, I'll do it. Yeah, now, don't worry about him. Right. Yeah, bye, Mom. What's the trouble, Tim? Anything wrong with the family? No, no, sir. Mom's just worried because Jimmy and Trudy aren't home yet. They went up to the Wilcox mansion to collect some things for the sale. Yeah, she called there. She got no answer. I told her I'd run up there in a few minutes if they didn't show up. Oh, probably on the way home now. Mm. You know, they ought to get some prizes up at old lady Wilcox's. That place must be a hundred years old. <laughs> yes, sir. They're all pepped up about this antique sale. <laughs> funny, though, about Mom not getting an answer when she phoned. I wonder if anything could be wrong. Back at the old mansion, Mrs. Wilcox has finally found two articles to give Jimmy and Trudy for the antique sale. Brushing the year's accumulation of dust from them, she says... <laughs> dust? Dust? Oh, my. <laughs> there. That's better. I'm sure now these will do. Pearl inlay snuff box that was my mother's and this lovely china cup and saucer. Do you like them? Oh, they're beautiful, Mrs. Wilcox. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Wilcox. They'll help us sail a lot. Good. Now, you run long before your mother begins to worry. It is kind of late. Come on, Judy. I'm ready. Can you find your way down alone? I think I'll stay up in the attic a while and sort out some old things. It's been so long since... Oh, the... we can find a way down, all right. All right. Thanks a million, Mrs. Wilcox, and goodbye. Bye. 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 Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy and Trudy lose no time leaving the musty, dust-laden attic and getting away from the old mansion. As they start down the drive for the street, they're excitedly talking. Oh, I'm glad to get away from there. Wasn't it spooky up in that old attic? Yeah, sort of. I'll bet Mom wonders where we are. It's so late. These are awful nice old things she gave us. Yeah, I bet they'll bring a lot of money at the sale. Oh! Well, what did you say, Trudy? That scream from the haunted house. Oh, gosh, don't start that again, sis. It, it was bad enough where I would... <laughs> say, somebody up there is screaming at that. Oh, let's run, Jimmy. I'm scared. I told you the house was haunted. Oh, but that's no ghost. It must be Mrs. Wilcox. Oh, no. What did I tell you? There she is, leaning out of the attic window. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, did you hear what she said? I didn't have to. Look, you can see the flames in back of her. Oh. Trudy, Mrs. Wilcox is alone up there in that attic, and it's on fire. Well, it looks like Jimmy's and Trudy's experience with the old Wilcox mansion isn't over yet. Just as they're getting away from the old house, they discover fire curling out of the attic window. 
Now, to learn what Jimmy and Trudy do, be sure to listen to the next thrilling True to Life episode of The Firefighters. Now, in just a moment, Chief Bob Cody will tell all of you boys and girls how you can help the firefighters right in your own hometown. But first, let's listen to this message. Now, Chief Bob Cody with a special notice for the Firefighters Brigade. Chief Cody. Hello, boys and girls. This is Chief Cody with a piece of good advice about the care of electrical wiring in your home. I've mentioned this before, but it bears repeating. Don't string electric wires under rugs, over hooks, or in places where wear may expose the bare wire. Short circuits cause one out of every ten fires in the home. So check up on the wiring in your home, won't you? Be sure it's safe so you and your family will be safe from fire. Well, that's all for now. You'll be hearing from me again soon. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins will be back on the same station the next time you hear... That's it. Let's go! Fighters is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.